when I open up the box and I look at the packaging, it looks the same as from the website, but the name is different. This is kind of misleading. Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to today's video. So I'm going to be doing a lip swatches review and first impression on another O2O lip product. So this time I'm choosing 2-in-1 matte lipstick and liquid lipstick. Actually, there's a story behind it. I purchased this from Shopee website but by the time I saw the title for this makeup product, it says matte lipstick and lip gloss. But when I got this product, it says matte lipstick and liquid lipstick. But when I open up the box and I look at the packaging, it looks the same as from the website but the name is different so i kind of wonder why they're doing that because uh, this is kind of misleading never mind i will do the swatches and letting you know my first impression and review about this product this is how the box looks like and clearly it says two in one matte lipstick and liquid lipstick so from the box it says cup and seal a perfectly contoured pout with this two in one long wearing lip essential it's a full coverage satin matte lipstick and coat Coordinating pigmented lip gloss in one double ended tool. So it says lip gloss here. Maybe the texture looks like matte finishing, but it has a gloss texture as well. So I'm not sure. Let's see how it looks like. So I'm making this video for you guys, and hopefully, this will be helpful for you. Actually, it has 12 colors selection from this range, but I did pick five colors of them because I'm I'm pretty selective when it comes to choosing the right shades for me because I don't want to end up look weird on me so yeah I'm kind of picky and selective to be honest so hopefully the colors that I pick suits me well throughout this video you will see the swatches and my first impressions so let's begin firstly I'm going to show you the packaging of this lip product so this is how the packaging looks like. It's so pretty, it looks exclusive, and it has double-ended tool, just like it claims from the box. So here, we have lipstick. And from the other side, it has liquid lipstick. So this is how it looks like. The applicator is straight. Hopefully this would be easy to glide on the lips. So let's see the first color. It's in the shade 04. I'm gonna do the swatches for the lipstick first before I go for a liquid lipstick. It looks like nude peach when I swatch at the back of my hand. So let's see on my lips. my kind of color I like this color it's so easy to apply on lips it's moisturizing I didn't put any lip primer or whatsoever because I want to see how it looks like on my lips how it feels on my lips so what do you guys think I think it looks so pretty it looks so natural it kind of match my shawl here yeah I like this color this is so perfect for everyday look for me this would be suitable with light skin tone but if you are in medium skin tone, it would look kind of too nude on you. Now, let's see how liquid lipstick looks like. So, as you can see, this is the color of liquid lipstick. It's kind of darker than the lipstick one. So let's see how we end up on my lips. With this applicator, it's so easy to apply. It's moisturizing as well, just like the lipstick. But the difference is the color. The color itself is a bit different from lipstick. And one more thing, it's more pigmented it's so easy to glide on the lips and with one swipe i can have full coverage on my lips as well 
yeah i do love this kind of texture this reminds me of uh, intuit liquid lipstick it has pretty much similar consistency light to medium skin tone will suit this color this is so pretty guys so pretty let's move on to another color all right the next color is 02 Ooh. this looks like tangerine red color i'm gonna pick the shade 02 and let's see how the lipstick color looks like on my lips So this is in the shade 02, has a very nice color, very vibrant red or tangerine color. It suits with light to dark skin tone, seriously. It's really moisturizing, maybe that's why it says lip gloss. It has a hint of glossy effect on it, probably because of that it says lip gloss, I'm not sure. Why you say lip gloss but then you mention liquid lipstick? I don't understand that. But the good thing is they're so easy to remove. And it's pretty stained. Now let's do the swatches first. On the back of my hand. Colors a little bit deeper than lipstick, just like the code 04. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> This is so, so pretty. I think I like the formula of liquid lipstick than the lipstick. The lipstick texture feels nice but for a long lasting effect, I think this is the one, the liquid lipstick. It takes few minutes to dry down to matte finishing but still you can feel the moisturizing effect on it so that's a good thing especially if you have dry lips and yes this is suitable for dark skin tone if you're wearing it it will look like nude pink color on dark skin tone all right let's move on to the third color and the third color is in the shade 07 I think this pink color is kind of bright on me so let's see does it look like that it's so pretty this looks like Barbie pink color so what do you guys think I think this color is so beautiful it's funky color and yes I think I kind of like this color is kind of lift up your mood you know so this is the lipstick in the shade 07 I like this color, this is so chanty So so pretty Alright, let's see how the liquid lipstick color looks like Alright, this is the swatches of liquid lipstick It looks pretty similar to lipstick color But it's just a little bit darker definitely this would be suitable with light skin tone but if you are in medium skin tone and you have confidence to pull off this kind of bright pink color that's really up to you because this is like really bright and shocking what we call this uh, fuchsia fuchsia pink fuchsia color Let's jump on to the next color. It's in the shade 11. So, I'm gonna show you the swatches at the back of my hand. Oh, this is so pretty. This is like pink or purple mauve here. So, let's see how it looks on my lips. This is so pretty and it's kind of match with my eye color and this is so perfect for everyday makeup as well what do you think it's i 
everything is so pretty and this would be fabulous on dark skin tone as well it would look kind of nude pink or purple color on them so now let's see the liquid lipstick color for shade 11 as usual it's a little bit darker than the lipstick one but still look as pretty as the lipstick this is seriously like a must-have color for everyone because it's not too bright it's not too pale it looks so perfect so there you go in the shade 11 the liquid lipstick for the shade 11 i love this seriously i love this okay let's move on to the last color for these swatches last but not least this is in the shade 12 this is how the lipstick color looks like it's like brick red color This is so pretty, it looks uh, subtle, like subtle red color. Um, yeah, I have nothing to say about this. This is just looks nice. Something different on me because I rarely use this kind of color. It's not too dark, it's not too pale, it just looks nice. And it's suitable with light to medium skin tone. Last but not least, we're going to swatch liquid lipstick color. This is nice, so nice. This is in the shade 12, so this is how it looks on me. It looks kind of deep red color, and this will be perfect for dark skin tone. So that's it, the swatches for all the colors that I picked. And honestly, I'm loving all the colors. But my most favorite is in the shade 04, the one that I'm wearing right now. And my second favorite is in the shade 11. Yeah, 11. And yeah, the others are pretty as well. But these two colors are my favorite. So, uh, my full thoughts about this. Uh, the product is good. I love the packaging. The packaging looks nice, looks great, but it's a little bit bulky for traveling. I love uh, how it end up on the lips and the color is so pigmented and it has a nice texture. It glides smoothly on my lips and um, it feels moisturized and I'm sure if you're wearing it throughout the day, it will stay moisturizing on our lips. But if you want like long wearing lip color, I suggest you to put on liquid lipstick because they're so pigmented, um, very long lasting. In my experience, this kind of liquid texture would be long lasting if you're wearing like 8 hours or so. I haven't experienced this liquid lipstick for long hours but yeah, like I said, I've experienced the same texture of it. It's long lasting. I'm sure it's long lasting and this O2O brand have come up with uh, range colors that are pretty and suitable with variant skin tone and that's good and the nude color is not too nude it's just nice on me it smells nice it doesn't have intense smell whatsoever and I think that's all that I can say about this product okay talking about pros and cons I think uh, there's not too much cons that I can say about this product except that the consistency of the lipstick is sometimes glide smoothly on lips but some of the colors is not as pigmented as it's shown at the back of my hand if you're looking for this O2O lip product hopefully this video helpful for you if you're trying to find the right shades for you I guess that's all for this review and first impression video and tell me if you want to see more of lip swatches or any kinds of review like foundation or concealer or any makeup product that you want to see tell me in the comment section below as usual if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so i see you guys in the next video with much more interesting makeup content have a great day and i'll see you soon